Uh, we are about halfway done with the unloading here on the first deck. We have three decks on this barge. And uh, the process for the uh, brake bolt is uh, in the mornings we select the personnel that's going to work. We give them a safety briefing prior to start any operations. And then the personnel shows up at the barge and we start unloading. As you can see, we have uh, equipment that is, we have boats, we have jet skis, buses uh, for passengers, also heavy equipment for construction and agriculture. Okay. And so you were telling me before that depending on the specifics of the vehicle is how they are uh, positioned on the barge, right? Correct. Jas Jacksonville has all the loading and they make all the planning for the loading in Jacksonville coming down south to Puerto Rico. And what they decide is depending on the equipment, they give a special location to it. As you can see here on the deck, we have special matting that has been installed on the barge for those low profile vehicles. So that way we don't run the risk of bottoming out and causing any damages to the equipment. And I mean, and I know that you're the operations manager, right? But you know, wh why is the work that you do important? Why well, should people care about, you know, what you bring and what you take back and all that? This industry gives us the ability to touch every aspect of the life of all Puerto Ricans and all people that live here in the island. We touch every single industry here in the island from local pharmacies to major drug companies, uh, health, uh, leisure, as, as you saw, we have some boats and jet skis, mm -hmm. so that people can come down here, enjoy the island. But the importance of our industry is that we touch every segment of the industry down here and every day is people's life. And now you're working directly with what's coming in for the recovery and the reconstruction work. Yes. How have you seen the, you know, the volume and what have you seen coming in? We have seen, we have seen some of the volume that's come in and we see a lot of uh, heavy equipment. Uh, steel uh, steel uh, plates, steel beams, and all of that equipment comes here in specialized platforms that we have to move that equipment. That equipment comes down and it goes straight onto the streets. We don't have to, we don't have to handle it here locally at the terminal. Okay. Some equipment we do, but most of that recovery equipment comes in and we send it straight out to the customer so and there's no important. delay there's no delay that's what I was gonna say it doesn't sit here it, it doesn't sit here okay. it, unless the customer has a need for us to stow it for a longer period of time but normally as soon as we unload it'll, it goes straight out to the customer 